Today we review an IWC Pilot Automatic Chronograph that costs $1,200 as retail price. This brand that produced this miracle watch has Gerald Butler as ambassador. So please Jerry tell us what brand is this if not an IWC. This is Pistina! I always wanted to do that. And yes, you've heard Jerry very well. Festina is a brand with a lot of heritage, but with a different positioning on the market lately, focusing more towards entry-level watches. But the brand decided to make good use of a batch of unavailable 7750 movements, so they created an IWC Pilot Chronograph homage. And besides the good-looking color pilot, they offer this model on a price that beats all the chronographs from the market. All for $1,200. And immediately your mind will start to process and seek for a better retail priced Valjoux 7750 chronograph, but I think there are none. Not anymore. I mean, some micro brands are offering chronographs slightly above $1,400, but nothing close to the Festina price. As you know, currently the 7750 automatic chronographs are nowhere to be found for this amount of money due to the inflation rate and the market explosion on the Swiss made watch prices. But it's not all about the movement here, it's about the quality and the design as well. So I introduce you to the nameless Festina Swiss made automatic chronograph, which is called Le Petit Prince, not Prince. This Festina chronograph is impressive through size, color and quality as well. And when you'll see this watch, you'll have all the chances to think that this is an IWC pilot chronograph. And I bet you'll ask me in the comments section, Andre, please tell us what's the reference number or the name. And I will disappoint you to say that officially this Festina chronograph with 7750 movement, it's called Festina Men's Black Leather Watch Bracelet. So imagine this name placed on the video cover. It's a shame that they couldn't at least name it the Young Prince or the Jet Fighter. I don't know, something that will make this Swiss made automatic chronograph to stand out from the crowd. And then let's address the elephant in the room and talk about the accuracy of this homage. Leonidas, please. Did you know that when a design of a watch is replicated by another brand, they need to ensure and justify seven differences to avoid getting sued by the genuine owner of the product? Except obviously for Pagani design which replicates everything, flooding the market with junk. And in terms of differences, the case of this Festina feels to be one-on-one -on -one with the IWC Pilot. From the shape and the angles perspective to the brushing rhythm and the chamfers. On the dial in exchange, Festina did their homework and developed the necessary changes to avoid getting sued by IWC. And made some adjustments, which as a composed defect, it still looks like an IWC Pilot chronograph. And if we look overall at the dial, it offers the same layout with subdials at 12, 6 and 9 and a day-date feature at 3 o'clock position as these two watches share the same movement. And then the red small seconds hand is highlighted in the same position. The numerals are a bit smaller on the homage Festina, just to make enough room for the minute counter. And then at 12 o'clock we have a smaller triangle compared to the iconic Flieger one. The date is windowed as well, but the Festina model shows also the previous day if you forgot to count. Just to make sure you'll know which one is the current day. Smart! Actually, useless. But the red accent is quite effective. Because it communicates with the small seconds accent, but also with the tip of the chronograph hand. And another difference consists in the lumed markers. If the IWC highlights only the cardinal points and the hands, this Festina has loom on each marker, plus on the 12 and 6 o'clock sub hands. And the loom, I have to admit, it's good and long lasting. So, another reason to consider this little friends. And here we go 7 changes. And what is important, quality wise, this is very good. I love the gunmetal hands and the finishing level of the hands or the subdials. And the watch is very easy to shoot and photograph because the design offers so many contrasts and rhythms that create a delightful view to follow. And I haven't spotted any cut costs, sloppy printing, faults, dust or scratches besides the ding on the case lock which sadly made me to return it. Because this was a gift for my girlfriend. She spent a lot of money on this watch and I didn't want it to accept a brand new watch with a ding on the case. So I will probably rebuy it in the same color or the brown version once I will find it discounted. Honestly this is a watch that can sit in any collection, especially if you like pilot watches. And then specs. Thanks. The size is the right one, a chronograph with roots from the genuine Fliege watches, but downsized to an acceptable diameter for today's tastes. This Festina measures 43.5mm which is with half of millimeter bigger than the genuine IWC Pilot chronograph. 
In my view this model has the right size of a true pilot which should be sized and purposed to be legible and functional as it was originally intended. I know that IWC has also a 41mm version for it, but downsize I think it loses from its appeal, because it feels more like an enthusiast's chronograph than a tool for pilots. It's exactly the same story for a Panerai, a tiny Panerai is not a Panerai, period. And as specifications, this case measures 43.5mm with 55mm lug to lug. And as height we have 15.7mm which is in the generic parameters for the 7750 movements and 21mm between the lugs. The watch has 100m water resistance, features a sapphire crystal and it is labeled as Swiss made. In this case because it uses a Swiss movement and doesn't mean that it's built and assembled in Switzerland. And inside we have obviously the Valjoux caliber 7750 exactly the same module used by IWC, with 28800 VPH, a day-date complication and 48 hours power reserve. And what is interesting to know, the Festina group owns the Soprod company, which is an alternative to other Swiss movements and remained a viable solution for Swiss-made movements alongside Salita. And I was wondering why Festina did not use Soprod chronograph movements, but apparently they do not make such complications. Still, the ETA Valjo is not available for years since they were acquired by Swatch, so how come Festina got these movements for their pilot chronographs? Mystery. Now, this model doesn't come only on the Little Prince blue color, Festina launched a brown, green, white, black and other two gradient versions as well. The gradient versions in my view they look kind of awkward, but the ones with the sunburst are very cool. And besides that, the brand launched a simple freehand pilot as well, but in the same chassis of the chronograph. And the movement is not specified on the website besides automatic, but what is specified on the dial is the label Sapphire. And the good thing is that they didn't have enough space to print leather strap as well. And as wearability, this watch has presence on the wrist as it's intended to be. The lacquered dial and the concentric patterns of the subdials with gunmetal hands provides a premium experience when worn. The feeling of wearing this on the wrist is like being hugged by the case and the strap as well. The volume is overwhelming but comfortable and good looking in the same time, which is a similar feeling provided by a 44mm Panerai. This strap is made in the same IWC style, made from a thick piece of leather with double horizontal stitchings following the trimmed shape of the strap until it meets the solid buckle. So well played from the materials perspective. And overall guys, I'm glad that I've had the chance to share this watch with you. I'm super impressed by this nameless Vestina chronograph. I think this is a spectacular release from a surprising brand which technically was entitled at some point to offer good quality and reliable watches. So in terms of trust, I am confident to spend this amount of money for such an IWC homage, which I will do, potentially try out the brown dial version. And in the end I'm really curious to know what do you think about this surprising Festina release? Please let me know in the comments section and as usual if you're new here, please consider subscribing for future episodes. Thank you very much, thanks for watching and until next time, be brave well, stay safe.